I have been digging around trying to uh, get to the bottom of what's been bothering me about the um, teachings that I've experienced of um, particularly uh, Rupert Spira or Spira, I'm not sure how that's pronounced, and Francis Lucille. And I've been looking at uh, a lot of their content, been on both their websites, and um, I think I've got to the bottom of it. Because both of them uh, were taught by Jean Klein. And um, <clears throat> so I decided to have a look at Jean Klein. And I came across a uh, an interview of him from, I think, the 1980s. He died in 98, I think. And Jean Klein speaks about a particular aspect of um, practice. And he speaks about what he refers to as body work and pranayama. And these are the elements that I do not find I can find no evidence of these elements as an integral part of the teachings of either Rupert Spira or Francis Lucille. Now, I don't know if uh, I was to pay to go on a retreat with either of these teachers, whether body work, and I'll talk about that in a sec, and pranayama might actually be part of the retreat programme. <laughs> Um, but this is what I found. Their teacher did it. They appear not to. Now, body work is, um, I guess, meditation. Sitting like this, back unsupported, fully awake, supporting your own weight still, immobile, absolutely present. Because, I mean, this is a big topic, but um, perhaps I could say basically that in doing that, one transcends the body. And the body being the first and primary sense of separation. And it is necessary in order to transcend that, to bring the body to absolute stillness whilst being erect. Because you can bring the body to absolute stillness when you're lying down. Of course, when you've renegotiated your relationship with gravity, <laughs> but you have to be sitting up in order to do this work properly and fully. And to fully, fully inhabit your body to the point where you actually transcend it. Because in that immobility, there's no nervous stimulation. There's no stimulation of the nerves at that point. Um, when you're absolutely still, the surface on which your body is sitting and your body, because there's no movement, there's no nerve stimulation and everything becomes still. Pranayama, um, I'll talk about um, another time, but having um, learned and practiced pranayama for a long time myself, um, I can attest to its uh, effects. But just to say that, that's what I have not found in the teachings of Rupert Spira as presented in terms of what I found on here. And um, Rupert Spira and uh, Francis Lucille. And as I say, I've had a look on their websites. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe there's some link or some sort of bit of their websites that I've missed. And maybe, as I say, if I did pay and go on to one of their retreats, this would be covered but I don't see it covered in the content that I have um, looked at. And uh, yeah, that's, that's the missing bit. And I mean, the thing about both of these practices, the body work um, and the, uh, the pranayama, 
uh, I mean, the pranayama, you might want to pay a good teacher to take you through. But once you've done that, you're free to go on deepening your experience of it through practice for the rest of your life. And ditto uh, the bodywork of simply sitting absolutely still in silence, no guidance, in silence, you and your mind. And um, experiencing what happens when uh, the mind becomes part of the body and the body becomes part of the mind and you cross over into something else. That can only come through these practices. You cannot think your way to it. You can't read your way to it. You can't listen or watch your way to that. You can only practice your way to that.